Hi everyone, Yellow Canon here with a videotape I typically don't make. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Torbox device. I'll be sharing my first impressions, showing off how it works and how I use it in my work, showing my overall thoughts. So the Torbox is a small device you can program your software's hotkeys into in order to make your workflow more efficient. There's a knob for controlling brush size, for example, and two small buttons, which can be used for undo or redo. The device is completely customizable and works with a wide variety of softwares. So I received the tour box back in June. I'd been extremely busy, so I hadn't had a chance to create a review video yet until now, but at least I can now give this review from a perspective as someone who's been using the device for a few months. Overall, I really love this thing. It does take a little bit of getting used to it first, but once you get the muscle memory down of where all the buttons are, it makes my work way more efficient and quick. So I'm going to show off the device itself. It is a small box with a variety of buttons and dials. So right here we have a scroll wheel for zooming in and out a knob for controlling brush size, two buttons here, two little buttons for undo and redo. There's a button on the top. There's a little button right here next to the knob, a dial, and we got four directional keys, two and two more buttons on the side here, and lastly we have one on the side of the actual box. So each button you can customize and set whatever hotkeys you like to it, plus you can configure button combinations so you can configure even more hotkeys. The buttons are super easy to press, everything is super easy to configure, and once you get used to your configuration, the tour box is a really useful tool, tool to have and it easily makes my workflow way more quick and efficient. Some of my first impressions of the tour box. I found it extremely easy to set up and configure. Right away, I love the two little buttons here for the undo and redo. It took about an hour or two to set up a configuration that I was happy with. Uh, the built-in presets for the softwares are definitely a really good place to start and you can customize it easily from there. The only downside really that I've found is being left-handed, the side button here is sort of out of reach, but I can sort of get around it if I just use my other finger, my other hand to press this button while I click another, but it's it's wor it's workable with a left-handed person. <laughs> my first drawing with the tour box, I just had to make some quick adjustments to the configuration based on my needs. I worked out a configuration that I really liked, and I felt that with some time I could really make use of this and become really fast and fluent. Now I'm going to share how to set up the device. Once you download the driver and software, the device is extremely easy to configure and everything is completely customizable, like I said. You can set each button and button combination to whatever hotkeys you want. You can also set up different configurations for each software that you use, like you can look to the left here, and I have Photoshop and Animate are the, the softwares that I personally use the most, so I have each of those configured respectively. So I'll share a little bit about my setup, but like I've been saying, you can do it however you want. Uh, but let's see. So I've got the wheel set for the zoom. The dial is set for adjusting brush size or whatever I'm using, so like eraser size or things like that. Two little buttons here are for undo and redo. The arrows I have set to the different tools that I use the most often. Up is for the eraser, left is for the fill bucket, right is for the brush, down is for the lasso. I have it set up so when I press the top button on each of the arrow keys it scrolls through the different respective tools. For example, it'll scroll through the different types of brushes, erasers, change the fill bucket to a grading tool. And as for the bottom, the top key in the bottom arrow, I have it set to fill the whole screen. And the button next to the dial I have set to deselect. And the right button is the spacebar or the hand key. Double clicking the left button here switches the colors, switches the foreground and background colors. 
and I have it set to this button plus the redo key is save and this button plus this button is save for web and I can use since I'm left-handed, I use my right hand to click this button and this button together to adjust hue saturation. And I got click the side button and the top button here to default, put the default colors. And this button, this dial here, I can use to adjust selective parameters. So like if I'm like if I'm trying to adjust opacity, I can adjust the values using this dial here. That is my configuration for Photoshop. And I have it set to similar things in Adobe Animate, like a lot of them are the same, like the zoom is the same, dial is still brush size adjustment, two little buttons are still undo, redo, arrow is set to basically the same things, like up for eraser, still left for fill bucket, right for brush, down for lasso. I have it set to using the top button and left and right arrow keys is adjusting which frame I'm on, so previous frame or the next frame, since I'm making animations. And there's a couple more of them on there, but a lot of it's the same. I'm sure you get the idea. And I think that it'll, it'll make more sense when I use this for a drawing, so I'm going to demonstrate me using the tour box. So I'm going to start by making a drawing in Photoshop. So as you can see, I'm doing a little button here to click undo. And I can use the style to control brush size. This little button I can use as a move tool. So if I double click this, it'll I also have it set so if I double click this button, it'll go to the transform tool and then I can resize. Okay, quick little doodle there. And I got this button here set to the eyedropper, and this button plus the bottom button used to fill the screen. And as you can see, I use the top button and this top arrow key to scroll through different eraser types, so I got the magic eraser here. I use double click this button to layer lock this layer. Press this key for the brush again. And then this right, no sorry, left arrow key to use a fill bucket. Back to the brush. key for the lasso. Again, this is just my configuration. You can configure it however you like. Completely customizable. 
It's really nice though having these two little buttons here for undo. Everything feels supernatural. Once you get used to it, it's really, really a helpful tool to have. In my opinion. See, I'm pretty quick at using this, and I definitely would say that it's sped up my workflow. is this button to get the hue saturation. It looks really awkward, but it's actually, it's not too bad. It's, it's manageable. So I have it set to the side button plus the down is merge down. I will click here for reverse of the uh, foreground background color. And yeah, there's just a little quick headshot doodle as a demonstration on how I use the tour box in Photoshop. These two buttons I use as the same. I'm also going to show how I use it in Adobe Animate. Alright, here we are in Adobe Animate. So yeah, again, I same as Photoshop, I have all the tools I most regularly use set to the arrow keys here, so the right I have set to the brush. And this is, again, the adjusting the brush size. So let's say I was just gonna make another keyframe, but I basically just use, mainly what I wanted to show is that I would use this top key plus the arrow buttons to flip between frames, which is super really helpful in when I'm making an animation. So yeah, a lot of it's the same, like the wheel is the zoom in, and like I said, the brush size, the 
main tools I use. The process is pretty much the same, but you can configure the tour box for a wide variety of software that you most use, including editing softwares and basically any creative software out there that you might use. So in conclusion, I've been using the Torbox for about 5 months. I can definitely say that I really love this device. After getting used to the configuration I've set up, I've gotten the muscle memory down of where all the buttons are and where I've configured them to, so I can press whatever I need when I need it. Everything feels really natural, I don't even have to look down at the keyboard at all. It's just muscle memory of where the little buttons are and what everything does. It's a super useful tool to have, it definitely makes my work more efficient and quick. If you struggle with hotkeys or are just looking for a way to increase your efficiency in your creative work, I definitely recommend the Torbox. The price of the Torbox is $169. If you're interested in purchasing the product, you can get it $10 off if you use the coupon code that's in the description of my video. And shipping is also free. So, thanks for checking out this video and definitely consider purchasing a tour box if you think that it's something that you might find useful. Thank you.